Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check for the week of May 31st through June 7th here. So this is for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I want to thank everyone who's been watching the readings and giving me feedback. Um, somebody recently, a couple people told me there were too many ads and I appreciate that because I did not realize that YouTube is really trying to sell their premium subscriptions by putting in like five and six ads into videos um, to annoy the to annoy the wa the viewer, so that way you'll sign up. So I am manually now correcting that and removing those. So if you've watched before and thought, my God, there's way too many ads, I apologize. I did not realize that was happening, and I found many videos about it of. Um, other creators who were experiencing the same thing and polling and it's kind of funny because on some of the channels the the people that subscribe and watch were like oh I don't care I even click on the ads for you which I thought was kind of nice but I don't again I want the channel to grow and I don't want to do things that would turn people away from the readings themselves so anyway thanks for the support on that and um, if you're new here I'd love to have you as a subscriber and if you tap the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are posted, but it's usually about once a week. So I did a, a monthly, mid-month, and then I've added a love tarot reading to the lineup, and that's the first Friday of the month, okay? So here we go. Let's see what is going on this week with Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Now, if this doesn't resonate, as we always say, look to a different part of your chart rather than trying to force it to fit. But we go day by day if you're new here. So on Sunday, you have the King of Wands. Monday, you've got the Page of Wands. Tuesday, you've got the Ten of Wands. Wednesday, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Thursday, you have the Knight of Swords. Friday, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Saturday, you have the Three of Swords. And then you come back around on Sunday with the Knight of Wands. Boy, a lot of fire energy in this reading. So I definitely feel like you have some momentum here energetically with three court cards, the king, the knight, the page. Um, it's definitely powerful energy for a fire sign like yourself. Um, you also do, I feel overall you've got nice aspects for money here um, coming through. So let's, let's begin. So on Sunday, some of you may be starting some kind of a new project. Um, could be something you're taking on at work I'm getting for some of you and you're kind of like just on Sunday look, looking into it, kind of investigating how to get into action um, because this is definitely about action but it's also really about taking command of a situation. Okay, so um, just a very overall charismatic energy, you know, has a lot of people who... Um, you, you have a lot of people who are watching you and they are waiting for you to speak. They're waiting for your ideas. Um, but you definitely have good ideas coming in. You're just very magnetic. Uh, and I feel like throughout the whole week, you're very magnetic with people. Some of you may have a secret admirer here. Um, I do feel like this person's stable. They have money available. They are... I feel like they're in some kind of finance, like they're in accounting, they're an accountant or they work at a bank or a mortgage or some, fi it's finance is what is coming through. So if you're not aware of this person or if you know somebody in finance and you've thought, I thought they were kind of giving me a vibe, I think they are. I definitely think they're interested in you, but they're a bit slow moving. So um, I don't know if they're going to come screaming in on an, with an offer this week, but they're definitely watching and you are at your best. So um, what they see they are liking. Monday here, you've got the Page of Wands. Again, you're continuing in action this week. And the page is, obviously it's a, a younger energy than the, the king is. Some of you may be in a supervisory capacity where you're training new people. It feels like a lot of younger people around you who are being trained. Um, and there's kind of just this overall enthusiasm and excitement around you. Some of you may be with kids, too, on Monday. I'm getting that for somebody where you're just surrounded by, it feels like, younger energy. But again, you're taking action. You may even go somewhere, like take a trip to the zoo or something like that, where you're out and about with, like I said, this. it feels like a lot of young energy around you. But it's a fun, vibrant kind of feeling around it. Um, on Tuesday, you might find you're a little bit worn out 
um, from all that energy. It's the Ten of Wands. So this is also about putting down burdens. For some of you, you may have somebody from the past that you have been trying to close the door on for a while. And I do think that's going to be resolved. It feels like it's time to move forward without this individual hanging on. Um, so there, you know, there may be some of you that kind of struggle with um, balancing this week a little bit with in terms of feeling successful, but also just being responsible for a lot of things. So, you know, if it feels like it's too much to take, it may be time to speak up a little bit. Um, but do know with a 10, it's also about a cycle completing. So some of you may be coming out of that type of energy where you felt like you just had a never ending list, this list of things that had to be done and now they're getting done. Um, so this is Wednesday and with the Knight of Pentacles, you definitely have financial stability. And again, I do think you have somebody who's interested in you, but they're kind of waiting in the wings or they're watching. They're very slow moving. This is not a, um, you know, on again, off again kind of an energy. This is definitely somebody who's interested in a commitment. They're interested in something on a more serious level. Um, again, they do feel financially stable. They feel like they're very driven, like they've been maybe working for a long time and really have things stable in terms of finance, money, career, that sort of thing. And they, they're just not the kind of person who would bring in a relationship when they're focused on career. They just don't work like that. And it certainly could be a, an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but I actually get more predominantly Taurus or Capricorn. Um, so, it, you know, th this person's definitely interested and they like what they see. They like your fire energy. They like spontaneity. They are not that way themselves, so I do feel like it's kind of like opposites attract. They like seeing that, though. It's fun to them to watch you in action. Um, so you have here on Thursday, you've got this Knight of Swords. And again, some of you, if it's at work and you've been supervising people or training people or something like that, um, you may have more communication in that area that needs to happen because some of these people are not following direction very well. That's what it feels like. They're kind of devil may care. There's sort of this impulsive energy around you um, where they're just kind of careless or it's like somebody around you is very careless with things, um, kind of arrogant. It's like, they, it's like the kind of person where you know something, you're trained in something and you're trying to teach them and they go, uh-huh, I know, I know, I know. And it's like they're not listening really. They're telling you, that they already know all of this and then they go and make mistakes. So um, there's like somebody around you that's just a little too smart for their own good and they're kind of argumentative. So if you find on Thursday you are exposed to somebody who feels argumentative, it would be a well laid plan to step away from them because they're looking for a fight and you'll just do better. Your energy will be higher. Your vibration will be higher if you remove yourself from that. So Friday, you've got a great card here with the Ten of Pentacles, and this is the Wealth card. It's wealth for everyone. You may get a bit of communication or some kind of interaction, even an unexpected meeting with whoever this individual is that's interested in you. Um, and it could be something kind of casual where you're commenting on some kind of social media post and they put a sort of a complimentary comment. You know, so it's like, well, did that mean anything or am I reading into this? No, it means something. Um, I do feel you have, like I said, money is stable and looks very good and promising here. Um, and it's just a very relaxed, relaxed energy. Now, in readings, this Three of Swords can mean a few different things. On Saturday, um, it certainly could be even just a change in the climate. And I don't very rarely would I read this card that way, but I have to connect it with the cards around it. Um, and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense here, to be honest. I don't see it as being some kind of heartache and betrayal. The only, the only thing I would see is maybe if you have a past person who's been trying to come back, your lack of reciprocity may be painful for them. And that might be more of the change in emotional climate. But I also, sometimes this can literally mean rain. 
And so for some of you, you may just have kind of this downtrodden like, oh, we had plans and we can't go to where we wanted to go. And it's more mundane. It's not as much of this mortal wound, which more, t more times than not is what I get with this card. But in this case, it just doesn't feel like there's a mortal wound coming your way because then you end on the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is definitely a very, it's a very active, energetic kind of card, but there's a bit of arrogance to it. And I don't think after something like the Three of Swords, if that was a mortal wound, you would then turn into the Knight of Wands. It just doesn't work that way. Um, so some of you, if you have some plans that are um, changed, you, you may find that you rapidly turn into looking at something else. Um, because it's a very, again, it's there's charisma about you, but there's also sort of this excitement and fun. Some of you may be organizing something or architecting something, and you just have to be careful not to be too bossy about it. Um, there's, there's flirtation, though, too. So like I said before, there's somebody that is interested in you, and you may start to develop a little bit more direct communication with them where it is flirtatious. It becomes more apparent that they're interested in you. Um, so um, at this point, though, I do feel like it's more about talking than, you know, taking things to the next level. I don't see an altar here anywhere. So, But I, I definitely think there's a flirtation here and there's an interest here. So for those of you that are inclined to attracting more love in your life, here's an oracle card to do just that. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So, you know, really examine that in your own life if your pattern is to, um, you, you know, have long relationships that just don't, they're, they're long, like many years, but then they always seem to kind of peter out, that may be something to look at. Or if you're the, the kind of person who's just can't seem to have anything last for more than four months, it's time to look at that and really look at what it is that you want. You know, really focus on bringing towards you your desires. So with that, we'll close with a Money in the Law of Attraction card from Abraham Hicks. I can have money and freedom too. A feeling of being overwhelmed is your indicator that you are denying yourself access to all manner of cooperation that could assist you if you were not disallowing it. As you begin to feel freer regarding the expenditure of time and money, doors will open, people will come to assist you, refreshing and productive ideas will occur to you, and circumstances and events will unfold. As you change the way you feel, you access the energy that creates worlds. It is there for your ready access at all times. So I definitely think with money, your creativity is currency right now. So I love you so much, Sagittarius, and I'll be back again soon.